Well, you haven't probably seen anything because it's just a plane, but check this out. <laughs> Do you see that? That's a sign that you are doing something right. If that's what's happening, you are doing it right. <laughs> Hello there, Sir Fancy here, and welcome in another devlog of this uh, definitely not Star Wars game. If you are Disney, please note that this is not a lightsaber, this is saber made of light. Thank you very much. Today in this devlog what I will do is to make it cut stuff, just like in a name title. Not made by Disney. Now I am a little bit further ahead. Well, to be completely honest, it doesn't work, but it looks cool. I have imported these completely safe looking barrels and now you can sort of slice them. Let me show you. The well, problem is that collision on Saber still works, so it kind of cuts them, but yeah, you can see it. It's lagging as hell, but it sort of does what you would expect it to do. Well, don't bother with performance, that's just because I'm recording. It's, I think it's really, really fast and it looks terrible, but at least it's slicing them, right? That's cool, but funny part will be to make it work with skeletal mesh then. Actually, I need to make it work with this static mesh before making it work with skeletal mesh. So, let's see. We are not gonna cut the stormtroop... Not the stormtroopers, if you are listening, Disney. We are not going to cut uh, any moving objects soon. Do you see that? That's a sign that you are doing something right. If that's what's happening, you are doing it right. <laughs> well, well, well. I don't think it is done, but it's starting to look really cool, even though it will be probably buggy as... Oh, not the buggy, but laggy as hell. And I will show it to you. So, let's try it out. Right now, the lightsaber starts is on, but if I just take it and put it off, it will work. And ignore that plane, if you will. <laughs> I will probably have to put that different mesh, because with plane it's a little bit buggy, as you can see. But that's not what I want to show you, I want to show you this. You haven't probably seen anything because it's just a plane, but check this out. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, one more time. Like this and like this. Okay, now let's make it completely destroyed. I will probably play with it so it uh, jumps off at least a little bit after I will. Got it, but oh god damn it, that hurt. You haven't seen that. <laughs> I will have to do something with it and probably destroy them after a while because. Oh, that hurt. Because I'm afraid that it will become eventually quite performance heavy. But let's see, let's see. Overnight, I will put it in, uh, change it into forward shading and uh, multi view, so that should give me a performance boost as hell. But it sort of works. Now I need to figure out that it that, uh, doesn't make too many slices when your hand is shaking. Because right now, if I can, I can show it to you actually. So the problem is that if I clean cut, it's completely okay, as you have seen just now. Even though I need to work on this material. But if my hand is even a little bit shaky, or if uh, I'm cutting, if uh, I'm uh, slow with my hand, you can see what it will do because my hand is quite shaking a little bit. You can see it, that it created too many of these slices, and I would like to set it up so it will create only one. Okay, that's something I need to play with. <laughs> Look at the shadow. I will have to set it so it doesn't generate shadow, of course. Okay, next we need to make a few things clear. I'm not going to release it as a Star Wars game. Like, <laughs> no way in hell I'm going to release it as a Star Wars game. It's not that I personally would have such a problem with it, but Disney would have a problem with it. And that greedy mouse is probably not gonna like that. Like, not at all. Let's say that I'm making a game that has been heavily inspired by unnamed movie slash comics slash game series. That sounds good. I was thinking about name something like war that that war that has nothing no, no that's not it war that has nothing to do with stars. What do you think about that? That sounds like pretty cool name for that. Now I'm thinking about concept of that game. Honestly, I I think that I uh, that uh, robots would play quite a high role because you are in VR. You know you wanna destroy robots and you don't necessarily wanna kill too many humans. At least I don't. 
What you want to do is completely up to you. I'm thinking about, for start, uh, the, the droid simulator, the, as I have been talking about first video, which you can see somewhere in the, on the screen probably. And the uh, next one would could be the next, in, next one interesting mode, because I don't necessarily want to go to story-driven story game yet. At least not for now, because it's quite uh, hard to do that. And, and no, it's not necessarily hard, but uh, you need a lot of people to do that. It's a lot of work, and I... And because I'm working on that alone, I don't really want to do that right now. But I'm thinking about some replayable free modes that you can try. So I was thinking about some survival. Just imagine that you are teleporting around, robots everywhere around you, they are shooting at you, you can defect it and blah 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 blah. You know, funny, all the, you know, all the funny stuff. If you would like to contribute to this project or if you just uh, have idea about modes, what could uh, what could be cool, what uh, what you want personally to play in this, or if you have a VR headset and would like to test it, because I will definitely need a lot of testers, then write down a comment or go to Discord where you can message me personally. It's all up to you. So that's about it from me for this uh, Star that's not definitely happening in war. No, war that is definitely not happening in stars. Star not in war? What the hell? Anyway, some Gallifrey stuff. Not important. Surfancy out.